Welcome to our hands-on tutorial on reactive synthesis with spectra. Before we start, what is reactive synthesis all about? Reactive systems compute by ongoing interaction with their environment. They include sensors that read input from the environment and actuators that hold the system state and represent output. When we model the behavior of these systems, we consider infinite runs, that is, these systems are not supposed to halt unless someone turns them off. How are these systems typically developed today? The typical development of reactive systems today consists of several phases. Formulating the requirements, some formal specifications and models, an implementation, a lot of testing and maybe some formal verification. However, despite iterative processes and excellent advances in testing and verification, behavior over time is difficult to implement correctly. At a very high level, both formal verification and testing look like this. We have a tool called a verifier or some test execution mechanism. We give it as input a program or a model representing the implementation and a spec or a set of tests that represent this specification. The verifier runs and answers yes if the model or program satisfies the spec and no otherwise. Test execution runs and answers yes if the program passes the tests and no otherwise. So in both testing and formal verification, we first create a model or a program and then check whether it satisfies the specification or similarly passes the tests. In other words, we describe the what, we describe the how, and we put them one against the other. Synthesis is different. In synthesis, we have a tool called a synthesizer. The input for the synthesizer is just the specification. If possible, the synthesizer outputs a model or an implementation that satisfies the specification. It outputs no if no such model or implementation exists. So in synthesis, there is no upfront investment in building a model or an implementation which may or may not be correct. In other words, we describe only the what. The how is computed by the synthesizer. Reactive synthesis is an automated procedure to obtain a correct by construction reactive system directly from its temporal specification. Spectra is a specification language tailored for use in the context of synthesis. The language comes with Spectra tools, an Eclipse-based IDE that includes beyond synthesis itself, additional analysis and tools to help engineers write and use specifications for the implementation of reactive systems. So today, in this technical briefing session, we present an introduction to the spectral language and tools from the engineer's point of view. We don't talk about how spectra is built, the algorithms it uses, etc. We talk about the perspective on the engineer who uses spectra, writing specifications, synthesizing an implementation, and executing it. No background in formal methods assumed or necessary. Some examples of the reactive applications developed by us and by our students using Spectra include classic puzzles like Towers of Hanoi, Moving Obstacle Evasion, and Cinderella and Her Wicked Stepmother, as well as simple Lego robots, one that sorts bricks by color, an elevator, and various simulations for a smart home, a four-way junction, and parking lot operations. So here's the plan for the next two hours or so. We have pre-recorded nine short modules divided into three types, language, analysis, and execution. Each module is about 10 minutes long and ends with a short suggested exercise. After each module, we will give you two or three minutes to try out the exercise. 
This would also be a good time for us to answer questions that you can ask on the Zoom chat. After two or three minutes, we will show the exercise solution, answer questions, if any, and then move to the next module.